Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Atmanirbharta is the absolute necessity for Indian defense industry. Russia Ukraine war has further made Ministry of Defense of India realize this. India is heavily relying on Russia for its defense weapons and maintenance. The Dacronian sanctions on Russia is further going to increase the problems for India. At the same time, US is doing all it can to make India choose sides against Russia. In this situation, it's absolutely important that Indian should not have dependency on any nation when it comes to defense. In this regard, Ministry of Defense has taken a very big step regarding which we will be discussing in detail. MOD has accorded in principle approval to four projects under make one category of defense acquisition procedure DAP 2020 which means it's government funded. We have always one complaint with government that they do not fund private sectors for the R&D and development. This make one category is going to address this problem. The industry will be provided financial support for prototype development of these projects. In my opinion, this is a landmark decision which is going to change the complete ecosystem of defense industry and boost private firms participation. The first one in this category is communication equipment with Indian security protocols which includes routers, switches, encryptors, wipe phones and their software for Indian Air Force. These communication equipment will be used by Indian Air Force for secure communication. The second one is airborne electro optical pod with ground based system. The electro optical pods are like eyes for airborne platforms such as rotatory and fixed wing aircraft, US combat vehicles, naval platforms, and ground applications. The electro optical pod will enable observation, surveillance, tracking, and targeting capabilities. The third one is airborne standoff jammer for Indian Air Force. This airborne jammer is most likely to be developed on Krop G-180 SPN aircraft. This aircraft is a German low-wing twin-engine composite corporate jet. If you remember, back in 2020, it was reported that the Tata Advanced Systems Limited TASL, likely to have bought the intellectual property rights of the aircraft for the development of a military variant to be offered to the Indian Army as a signals intelligence gathering and surveillance platform. These jammers will be used to jam the RF signal generated by radars which could be a ground-based or airborne platforms. It will be capable of jamming the two-way data link between air-to-air -air missile or ground-to-air missile which has these links which helps them in mid-course guidance. The fourth one is light tank for Indian Army. We have already discussed about light tank in multiple videos. The requirement of the light tank was felt when China fielded its light tank Type 15 during the standoff in Ladakh. In April 2021, the Indian Ministry of Defense had issued an official RFI for the phased purchase of next generation 350 light tanks. As we have already reported earlier, DRDO CBRDE and LNT has also started working on the light tank. Initially, the plan was to use the existing K9 Vajra chassis and replace its 155mm gun with 105mm gun to reduce its weight. But it seems this plan has been dropped now. CVRD is going ahead with the chassis of NGMBT, though this was designed initially for Indian Army's FRCV program. CVRD seems to be reusing the same design for light tank which seems to be right segue for the development. One of the unique features of this design is a three-member crew configuration located at the frontal portion of the hull which has maximum protection. This will increase the amount of passive, composite and reactive armor protection required for the crew. The tank is expected to have weight of 35 ton powered by MTU MT883 Ka 500 or 501 diesel engine delivering over 1100 kilowatt shaft power with 10 speed 5 forward and 5 reverse. The same engine is used in western tanks such as Leclerc, Challenger 2E and Merkava MK4. 
with MOD funding for the prototype, the development of light tank will get the required boost. Looking at the present progress made by CVRD on the light tanks, we can expect the first prototype of the tank coming out between 2023 to 2024 followed by its trial. The production of tank may start by 2027. In addition, MOD has also accorded in principle for five projects under industry-funded Make-2 procedure. Unlike Make-1 category, in Make-2 category, no financial assistance will be provided by the government for prototype development. The projects are full motion simulator for Apache and Chinook helicopters and variable robotic equipments for aircraft maintenance for Indian Air Force. It also includes intelligence surveillance and targeting system for mechanized forces and autonomous combat vehicle for Indian Army. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.